What's up dolls and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the little notification bell that way you'll be notified each and every time I upload. Are you struggling with your makeup application? Are you wanting to gain makeup inspiration from some of the top makeup artists in the game? Are you a fan of natural makeup or bold makeup? Or do you like both? I kind of like both but let me know down in the comment section below. Do you want to know about the artist who inspires me and helped me to do makeup correctly? If so, then keep on watching. So, in today's video, I will be discussing with you who are my top 10 favorite beauty gurus. And in this video, I have a bunch of notes written down, so you will see me from time to time, check my list. And also, just as a disclaimer, um, I want to say that I watch a ton of different beauty channels. I watch way more beauty channels than is discussed in this video. Um, but these are just my top 10 favorite beauty channels based off of my personal preference. So if you like the way that my channel is structured, kind of like family friendly, you will probably like my list because I base my list off of beauty channels that kind of are structured like mine if that makes sense and also don't be offended if your top favorite um, beauty guru is not listed on this list like I said it's geared towards my personal preference these are all women who've helped me in my makeup journey it's, it's going to be a two-parter so in this part of my um, video I'm starting with number 10 and I'm going all the way to number 6 and in next week's video you will see my top 5 and can anyone guess who's number 1 and the three things that I'm going to let you know about the different artists is whether they are more of a natural style artist or a bold style of artist um, or whether they're kind of both, whether they do a mixture of both, whether it's over the top and bold or most subtle and natural. So I will definitely let you guys know that one. Also a little bit about their personality and then also what you can expect from watching their channel. Okay, starting from number 10, I really hate to put this lady in number 10 because she deserves way much more props than she gets. She has done so much for the women of color in the makeup community, in the beauty community. Um, but I sadly have to put her at number 10 because I don't really care for her, um, how she structures her videos because sometimes she doesn't uh, mind her language and that's perfectly okay. That's fine for her to do on her channel, but I don't really like to watch videos with a lot of over the top um, kind of like uh, dramatics and like cursing like the language I don't really care to watch channels like that however every now and then I will check out Auntie Jackie because her makeup game is amazing she does a great mix of natural and bold looks so it really depends on what she feels like at the moment um, her personality is really, really fun, but it's also very dramatic and in your face. So if that is not your type of style videos, then you might not really enjoy her channel. The main niche of her channel is inclusiveness. So she tests out a lot of different brands to make sure that they are, you know, doing their job as far as including the broad spectrum of women. And I'm really inspired by her and everything that she's accomplished in the beauty community and so if that sounds like it's up your alley then you might want to check her out I'm going to go to my number nine spot is a gorgeous gorgeous young lady by the name of and I wanna I hope I'm saying these people names right you guys do not roast me if I'm not saying them right I really don't know how to say their names some of them but anyway 
This young lady's name is Kaiser Colby, I believe, and she's based in London. I just fell in love with Kaiser Colby's whole aesthetic. Like, she always looks a little bit natural, but her beat is like out there in your face and like over the top. But she's so naturally pretty that she like draws you in. I don't know what aesthetic I would kind of say she has. I want to say she has more of a natural uh, aesthetic, but it kind of looked bold and in your face, if that makes sense. Um, her personality is more calm, cool, and collected, um, a little bit like mine. So I really enjoyed that about her channel. And like I said, I haven't been watching her channel all too much, but what you could expect from her channel is just her keeping it real and giving nice reviews on things that she loves or that she likes. Top eight would definitely have to be You Love Megs. I don't know, it's just something about her bright, bubbly personality that I love. Um, I will put a disclaimer out though, if you're not a fan of kind of like a really light, kind of high-pitched, bubbly voice, then you might not really enjoy her channel, but I personally think she is really cute with her voice. She adds a lot of jokes and comedy into her videos, um, kind of similar to Jackie Ina, but she's a little more toned down than Jackie Ina. You know, she does more natural beats than she does like over the top type of makeup. Um, so if you enjoy more natural style, then you'll probably love that. She also does natural hair tutorials and things of that sort. So if you want to check that out, that would definitely be a reason. Um, and I already discussed her personality. And what you can expect from her channel is, um, I pretty much would say mainly just inspiration. Top seven would be Naima or Nima Ting. I hope I'm saying that right. Nima or Naima Ting. And she is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, influencer here on YouTube. And I just fell in love with her ebony skin. She has really deep, beautiful skin that so beautiful I can't even really explain it but I just get lost in looking at her skin that's how gorgeous it is and she kind of got her start with doing the deeper shady type videos and this was basically where she would try out the deepest shades from all different types of foundation lines and concealer lines that came out to make sure that they're you know being inclusive to people who are amongst the deepest range of um, shades and so I found that really intriguing that she um, made that her niche so that's what you could expect from her channel um, she's more of a natural style makeup artist so if you enjoy natural beats that would be a definite um, reason to watch her channel and also her personality is so lax so laid-back and just right up my alley so I really enjoy watching her Number six I would have to say is um, Rosita Applebaum I hope I'm saying that right um, Rosita Applebaum I used to watch her years ago on YouTube and I kind of got away from watching her videos but I recently rediscovered her videos and she is so gorgeous I believe she's a Latina um, she does more natural style makeup but I think every now and then she has slipped some bold looks up in there so her personality is very laid-back kind of like mine and what you can expect from her channel um, you can expect quite a different array of different things from her channel um, sometimes she touches on affordability, comparing affordable makeup versus high-end makeup, um, um, tricks and tips of like makeup artists and things of that sort. So so if you all enjoyed today's video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. 
Also remember to subscribe if you're not already a part of the Queen Doll Face family. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, be gorgeous, be blessed, be queens, my dolls. And until next time, hasta luego!